Welcome to this how-to screencast. Today, we'll explore the powerful self-service capabilities of Salesforce Experience Cloud. Before we begin, let's outline our learning objectives. By the end of this video, you'll be able to explain common use cases, describe different license types, and learn about the main templates for Experience Cloud sites. Whether you're building a portal, help forum, or something else, an experienced cloud site is a great place to connect and collaborate with customers, partners, and employees. Experienced Cloud combines the best of the three following components. Your website, where you can easily customize your branding, colors, and messaging. Customer portals, where you can safely share important data with customers, manage relationships with partners, and offer case management and deflection. And finally, a social component that uses chatter functionality to connect community members in discussion forums and groups. Experience Cloud is available in three different instances, each with a specific purpose. Partner Central supports partner relationship management workflows, like channel sales, channel marketing, lead distribution, and deal registration. It also includes functionality to map reports and dashboards for monitoring your pipeline. Service Community is a powerful, responsive self-service template that includes multiple pre-built theme options, access to cases and knowledge, and lets users post questions to the community, search for and view articles, collaborate and contact support agents. Help Center is a public access self-service portal that makes it easy for people to find answers to their questions by viewing articles made available from your knowledge base. Experience Cloud offers different license types designed to specific use cases, including Commerce Portal. This portal enables personalized digital experiences to engage any external stakeholder, such as brand engagement and customer loyalty. Customer Community, which is a business-to-consumer experience for providing access to case objects or knowledge. Customer Community Plus is a business-to-consumer experience for sharing access to reports and dashboards. Partner Community is for business-to-business -business communities that need access to sales data. External apps provide highly customized experiences, incorporating CRM objects, custom objects, external data, and requires additional storage. Ideal use cases are dealer, vendor, or supplier portals. This license type is also commonly used for franchise management and marketplaces. Experience Cloud also has three templates with out-of-the-box features and customizations to apply to your site the Partner Central template with partner relationship workflows and mapping reports and dashboards, the Customer Service template with integrated knowledge article and case management, and the Customer Account Portal template where customers can do things such as view and pay invoices and update their account information. Now that we've gone through the basics, let's discuss what you need to consider before you start building your site. Before you begin, it's important to get clear on your site's purpose and target audience. Is your goal to improve customer engagement, or answer customer questions, or reduce service calls by providing online self-help tools? You may want to consider the self-service lifecycle and outline how customers will use your website for various actions, such as setting up an account, getting a quote, filing claims, or finding answers to questions. Once you have your strategy, it's time to bring your site to life. First, go to Setup. Look for Digital Experiences. Click All Sites. Then click on Workspaces for your site. Experience Cloud comes with six different workspaces. Builder is the space you'll use to build the pages for your site. We'll dig into this more in a moment. Moderation is where you'll monitor posts, check comments, and create rules. Content management is where you'll organize, manage, and build collections for your community site. You can also manage topics here including both navigational topics for your site, as well as topics for organizing your knowledge articles and CMS content. Gamification keeps your community members engaged with recognition badges, points, and levels. Dashboards lets you examine the health of your community with reports and dashboards. Administration is where you can configure settings and properties for your community. Guided Setup lets you configure features and integrations with step-by-step -step instructions. Now let's go into the Builder workspace to learn how you might actually set up the different pages on your site. In Builder, you can access the following tiles on the top left. 
Components is where you'll find the sections you can drag and drop onto the page, making it easy to customize your web pages to your liking. Themes is where you access your formatting options like color palettes and fonts to customize the look and feel of your site to match your brand. You can also access seven pre-built themes that help you structure your site quickly. Note that you can change your theme anytime without losing any content. Page structure is where you easily view the page layout of each individual page and highlight where all of your components are located. Settings is where you can access various setup configurations, including general settings, theme settings, language, SEO, and more. If you have third-party content you'd like to bring in, you can do that here. We also have a feature that tracks all the changes made to your site. Experience Cloud comes with mobile, tablet, and preview modes. Previewing your site in each mode will show you how users experience and interact with your site across different device types. To get started, just click View Mode in the toolbar. Then you can hide different components as you need. You can also preview your site both as a logged in customer or an unauthenticated visitor. Now that you have the full rundown of Experience Cloud, here are some best practices to keep in mind before you start building your site. Compile your brand assets ahead of time, including your logo, header, and color scheme. Formalize your business process and carry it through to the portal. Your service agents should have access to the same frequently asked questions as your customers. Identify your self-service users and define what their experience should be. Create solutions to answer your most commonly asked questions. Determine the information your users will need to answer their own questions and log cases. Decide how to notify your users of the self-service portal. And that's it. Now you're ready to get started with Experience Cloud. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.